evening, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope that you had a wonderful morning. Are you ready for circle time with Mrs. Juanita? Let's go. Remember, when I point to you, you need to say your name. Okay, let's go. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? It's good to see. Here, it's good to see Miss Juanita here. Good to see everybody here. How are you this morning? Yay! Very good, boys and girls. Do you know what time it is right now? It's time for the day of the week. Let's go. Let me get my pointer. So, yesterday was Monday. Today is, t -t yes, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. That's Tuesday right here. Tuesday. T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. And what number comes after 18, boys and girls? A one and a nine. A one and a nine says what? Nineteen. Nineteen. And Miss Juanita is going to write that in a minute. Who remembers the month? M A M A Y May, two thousand and twenty. So it's Tuesday, May, and let me get my paper here and write the number. Number. We're going to see how to write the number this morning. Number. We start by writing a one and then a nine. What number is this? A one. Beside a nine says 19. So it's Monday, May 19, 2020. Very good, boys and girls. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. And what letter is this? Who remembers? D, 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 D. Every letter has a sound and D says D. D for dad. We have uppercase and lowercase. Very good, boys and girls. And this is our guardian angel. Our guardian angel reminds us to pray. Very good. It reminds us to pray to Jesus to keep us safe from the coronavirus. Very good, boys and girls. Very good. And now we are going to count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yay! Very good, boys and girls. Clap yourselves. Very good. Okay, who can tell me what comes next? The weather. Can you look out your window and tell me what the weather is like outside today? Outside my window, I see sunshine and clouds. So it's still partly cloudy today. Very good, boys and girls. 
If you were able to do those with Miss Juanita, give yourselves a big clap. And now, guess what we are going to do? We are going to sing a song. Are you ready to sing a song with Miss Juanita? All right. Let's do this one today. But Miss Juanita didn't remember. Let's do this. Golden sun, please shine down. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the cloud. Please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Yay! And so... Do you remember what we're talking about today? Today, we are talking about dads. D for dads. D for dad. D, 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 d for dad. D for dad. So you can make the letter D trace or you write the letter d cut out some squares and glue them onto your letter d and draw a picture of daddy or cut out a picture of daddy or get a picture from a magazine that looks like your daddy and glue it right there so this is d for dad because father's day is coming up soon so what are you going to do for your daddy for Father's Day? We need to think about that, okay? And now I am going to read again for you today. This book. My grandpa is great. My grandpa is great. So what Miss Juanita is going to do is... I am going to read and then I'll show you the pictures. Okay, boys and girls, let me get my special helper. Can't see a thing without my glasses. Okay, here goes. So, my grandpa is great. Very good. So, let's go. Sometimes the pages of my book is hard to turn. My grandpa is great. He always has lots of time for me, even when he's busy. I always look forward to going to stay with him for the weekend. Grandpa is a lot like me. He loves getting nice and dirty. See, Grandpa? What is Grandpa doing, boys and girls? Grandpa is making a garden. I just wish Grandma did too. Grandpa is a super gardener. His pumpkins are the biggest I've ever seen. Well, that was until I saw even bigger ones at the county fair. Luckily, Grandpa doesn't mind. He's a good sport. My grandpa is a great fisherman. 
Does your grandpa go fishing? Or maybe mommy? Or daddy? But he always forgets the size of the fish that he caught. Luckily, I'm here to remind him. Poor grandpa. Grandpa needs some reminders, right? Grandpa knows all about nature. He knows the names of all the birds and flowers. He even knows the quickest way to get away from danger. It's amazing how fast he can run. <laughs> Grandpa is a fantastic dancer. I love dancing with him, but sometimes it makes me feel a bit dizzy. I don't know where he gets his energy. Grandpa has lots of cool toys. Sometimes he even lets me play with them. Grandpa is very handy around the house. I can't wait to show Grandpa what Grandma what is done to the kitchen. Oh, oh, I hope Grandpa don't get in trouble. My Grandpa is a wonderful cook too. He says that when I grow up, he'll tell me the secret of making a really good pizza. Do you like pizza, boys and girls? I like some pizza. I don't like pizza with mushrooms on it. Sometimes, Grandpa takes me to watch the game. What do you do with your Grandpa? He's the star of the team. Grandpa tells me loads of amazing stories. It's hard to believe that he used to be a pirate. I think Grandpa is really telling stories. <laughs> I wish I could have seen his big red pirate ship. Sometimes if I'm really lucky, Grandpa lets me sleep in his tent. Oh, oh, look at Grandpa's face. Is Grandpa happy, excited, scared, or sad? Which one is Grandpa? I think he is scared. When he's with me, I'm never afraid. Can you see what's making the shadow outside Grandpa's tent? It's the cat. No, the doggy. It's the doggy. <laughs> He's making scary cat faces. When it's time to go home, I wave goodbye to Grandpa. He's probably really busy when I'm not there to help. My grandpa is so kind and funny. I love going to grandpa's because my grandpa is great. The end. Did you like my story, boys and girls? Yeah. Did you like my story? Yes, yes, yes. 
Did you like my story? Yes, yes, yes. Or maybe no. I'm sorry if you don't like the story, boys and girls. But I bet almost everyone does. But if you didn't like the story, maybe you can tell your mommy and daddy why you didn't like the story. And it's okay if you didn't like the story. Okay? I need you to know that. You can tell your mommy what's your favorite story or your daddy today. All right, boys and girls. So we are going to get ready to do a special activity today. So see you when we come right back. Hi. So welcome back, boys and girls. So as I said before, we are going to do an activity for Father's Day. So here we go. So, if you remember last time, I had put, we made Play-Doh. You can make Play-Doh using flour, water, and some salt. Just a little bit more than you would put in your flour if you were going to make dumplings or pastry just a little bit more and instead of butter we put a little bit of cooking oil so here today this is play-doh that we had previously made on the show so i had refrigerated it and what happened is that the salt started to melt so it is very wet so i have used paper towel to take out some of the water but what i want you to do today is to use play-doh to make a special gift for your daddy and i'm just gonna make a paper clip holder or something and I'm just going to make it into a ball and form it. And then I am going to put it on here. My, uh, has a lot of water in it. So it's difficult, but if you, when you just make it, you can put it out to dry and it will stay firm so i'm just gonna cut my um grease paper i put it on a grease paper here and i am just going to fold in the sides of my play-doh regular play-doh will not get like this Regular Play-Doh will remain firm. But this is the homemade Play-Doh that I had made because of the COVID-19. So I'm just pinching the sides of my Play-Doh. And then I am going to make a sink in the middle. I may have to use something to keep my shape but you get the drift so i have made this when it's dried your daddy can put something in the center of it you see so i just keep reshaping mine but yours will keep the shape and so i am just going to leave mine to dry out outside and see what happens and when it is dried we can decorate around it okay boys and girls so this is mine and we will see what it turns out like when we 
come back for the next lesson. So, I hope you had a wonderful day today. I did. It was fun being with you again, boys and girls. And remember, when you cough, cough in your shirt. <coughs> and remember to always wash your hands when you go to eat after the bathroom, when you touch anything, remember to wash your hands. Turn on the water, wet your hands, get the soap, scrub your hands, tips of your fingers between your fingers, and rub bubble 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 and turn off the water with your paper towel. You got to pull the paper, dry your hands, and turn off the water with your paper towel. So until next time, be good boys and girls. Listen to your mummies and daddies. And I'll see you next lesson. Bye.